Fennens from all over Fenrir are gathering in Vorpal to prepare for the Morska Festival, a yearly event designed to celebrate the mermaid goddess. When I came to Vorpal with my traveling companion Jack, he told me that it was unlikely that we would still be here when the festivities started. I'm so happy he was wrong! I grew up in an orphanage in the southernmost part of Obsidian, so stuff like this would never be an option for me to even attend. And yet, here I am, mere days away from the biggest party on Fenrir. I owe a lot of this opportunity to Desiree. She's a barmaid at the Sea Tides who convinced Jack that we should stay here a while. She helped us get a room, and she's going to help Jack get a job. The other day, she took time out of her busy schedule to walk around Warble with me and introduce me to some of the key people who show up every year to prepare for the festival. They say Desiree is everyone's favorite barmaid, and it's easy to see why. Her taking me out was probably a nice little break for Jack, too. <laughs> I've been annoying him about this festival for the last couple of days. Desiree said not to worry about him and that he could use the extra rest, but she also assumed he was lurking around, keeping a watchful eye on me. While I call him my traveling companion, Jack is more of a guardian. He's been overly protective of me ever since he saved me from the orphanage, but Desiree's trying to get him to lighten up a bit. She really believes we can start a life here, and I'm hoping that she's right. On top of all the other benefits of Warble, there's something magical about this place. I mean that, both literally and figuratively. Just before I left the orphanage, I learned I had natural water magic abilities. I have no idea if that's the correct way to describe something like this, but I can basically make water out of thin air. It was like I could become in tune with the magic around me and channel it. I thought the power was leaving me already when I was traveling with Jack, because I no longer felt the sensation I could feel when using the magic. But ever since we came to Vorpal, I feel rejuvenated. Magic must be prominent in Vorpal, especially water magic. I mean, how could it not be? This place has worshipped the mermaid goddess for centuries! I didn't tell Jack about this feeling, but I've been trying to explain it to Desiree. Jack told me not to tell anyone, but I feel like I can trust her. Also, Jack isn't really the best conversationalist, so I had to tell somebody. What I'm trying to figure out is that it feels like more than just the water magic surging through my body. I can feel all different types of things, though I can't quite narrow them down. Is it fire? Uh, could it be the rocks and dirt? Nature in general, maybe? I explained it to Desiree on our walk around the town as best as I could to someone not experiencing it. First, I told her about the water magic. When I become in tune with the water around me, it's like there's more than just blood flowing through my body. I can feel it pumping through my heart and traveling the veins of my body on a journey from my chest to my fingertips and my toes. The feeling I think is fire-related just stays in my chest and spreads slightly to my shoulders. It doesn't make me feel hot or more sweaty than the normal warpal weather does. It actually just makes me feel warm. It's strangely comforting, but at the same time, I can tell it wants to get out. The rock, dirt, or nature feeling is the strangest of all because I can tell I'm in tune with the surroundings, but I can't seem to pinpoint what it is exactly. Is it the trees or a specific dirt path? The flowers being carried in for the festival, perhaps? It's making me view the whole world differently lately. An overwhelming, but much needed change after being cramped inside the orphanage my whole life. As I was explaining this, a few bluebirds flew by and I joked that maybe there was a little bit of magic surging through the birds too. Desiree laughed, but she did take what I was saying very seriously. She stopped walking just as we reached one of the small bridges in Vorpal. I turned to see what was wrong, but Desiree had her hand out to present a view to me. It was the part of Vorpal separated by this small bridge with a bit of water between us and the town. <clears throat> if you want my opinion, she began, I think you're overthinking it. For someone like you, who is so in tune with the magic coursing all through Fenrir, a massive event such as the Morska Festival brings with it many sights and sounds. It isn't just a river or a lake, a spark used to light a firework, or the soil beneath our feet. Desiree pointed at examples of the next things she spoke about as she said them. It isn't just a vendor selling goods from one of the outer continents, a mother handing her daughter a mermaid balloon, or friends from faraway places gathering to enjoy the festival and each other's company. For someone like you, who has been confined to an orphanage her whole life and never got to see the world before, it may be hard to understand, but soon you'll realize that magic isn't just in one specific thing." She turned to face me and smiled. Magic is everywhere. <laughs>